Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to this unique unboxing and first gaming uh, impressions of the Infinix Hot 10S. Now, I want to thank Infinix for sponsoring this video. We're going to be checking out this device. And again, this is a device that, or device range that I actually haven't covered much on the channel. And I thought it was a good opportunity to see something within the budget category that a lot of people would pick up and find quite useful. So the Infinix Hot 10X is an awesome device, comes in this rather colorful packaging here. As you can clearly see, it is powered by the Helios G85 processor, which they state is excellent for gaming performance. So we're gonna be doing, of course, some gaming on this device. But within the packaging, it does come with its own nice uh, little case, as well as also a charger and uh, USB cables. Now, in terms of specs, you've got a plethora of specs on this device. The display is a 6.52 inch display. It is a HD plus display. It's also a 90 Hertz display. So which lends to that gaming experience that we can expect. Pretty fast, pretty fluid in terms of usability. So something I think a lot of people will definitely like. Now you saw a triple camera set up at the back. It's got a 48 megapixel camera, two megapixel depth sensor, and you know, all that fun stuff. And the camera is decent. Uh, it does have a nice camera interface. It gives you a lot of features. We'll record up to 2K. There's also a fingerprint sensor at the back. And we do have a headphone jack and a uh, micro USB port. So again, this will give you an indication of where the price point for this device is. But with that though, it does come with a 5,000 milliamp battery. It is a pretty big battery in this bad boy. And this comes with NFC. Now the non-NFC version of the Infinix Hot 10S comes with a 6,000 milliamp battery. So expect this to last for quite a while while using the device. So we've talked about the specs. What does that give you in terms of gaming performance and what can you actually do? So we went ahead and downloaded two games onto the system that we definitely like to play quite a bit, Call of Duty Mobile as well as also uh, PUBG Mobile. Now with those two games, what you expect is uh, some decent gaming performance. So let's go ahead and fire up you know, Call of Duty Mobile first and see what we get there from that device. Now, with Call of Duty Mobile, uh, you should expect uh, to get some gaming performance that's actually solid and run all the way through. Now, we saw within the settings here that we can run the game at high settings. And the other cool thing is you do also have some gaming features built into this device. So if you slide from your left towards the right, it brings up kind of like its own game center, which has a couple of cool features uh, where you can see the CPU and GPU usage. You can screenshot, you can screen record, you can clear your memory, and you can also remap buttons. And in this case, you can remap either your volume up or volume down buttons for whatever function you want them to do. In my case, I just remapped it only for the fire trigger. So which means I can use uh, the volume up for my fire trigger button, which is pretty cool. So we'll go ahead, get into some multiplayer here and see how that actually plays and function while we'll be using the fire button at the top to do some gameplay. All right, so that ran pretty well. Now, how about a game like PUBG Mobile? Now, PUBG Mobile, of course, is a little bit more intensive in terms of uh, performance. Uh, but again, this processor with the Helux G85 does a good job in allowing me to jump in and play as I want to. And I will say this too, in terms of heat, this thing has run rather warm instead of hot in terms of my experience. So I will say from using it, it's been pretty good so far in terms of just gameplay. So in terms of uh, the gameplay specs for PUBG Mobile, we're running it at Smooth Ultra 
or you could run it at HD high. So I prefer Sport Ultra because that would give us the most in terms of performance here. And we're gonna jump in again and see how well it performs just in terms of just general gameplay of what we're getting from something like PUBG Mobile. Okay, so that was pretty good. We got some really good performance from both games. And I think a lot of people will find that when you look at a device like the Infinix Hot 10S, uh, you're looking at something that gives you a lot of bang for your buck, right? You can play the games you want to play, maybe not at the highest levels, but you can play comfortably and well enough. It does give you that 90 hertz refresh rate, which is pretty good. And even though the display itself is a um, HD plus display. It's still a vibrant looking display. And again, it feels really nice and smooth just using and scrolling around using this display overall. Now, here comes the kicker, the price point. This is priced at $120. Yes, that's right. $120 for something that will give you a 5,000 milliamp battery, will give you a 48 megapixel sensor at the back, will also give you a 90 hertz display and should last you over a day in terms of just use case and performance. I think that's pretty good. And I think that's something you guys, if you're definitely interested, should go ahead and check out. Now, if you want to see some more information about the Infinix Hot 10S, Use the link down below. If you guys want me to cover this or do a full review on Board Gamer, let me know. I'll definitely do that for you. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.